There are some privacy settings on TikTok that you may want to change and I recently made a video about it on TikTok and people were asking me to kind of go more in detail on the privacy settings. So go to TikTok, the app here, and I'm on the profile page. I'm gonna press the three lines just to access the privacy menu so I could kind of show you what you have here. So here, there's an option to set an account to be completely private. And if you're under 16, your account is also completely private here. So if you are trying to change this, you cannot change this if you're under 16. If you accidentally made your account under 16, I have a different video that shows you how to try to change your age by contacting TikTok and verifying your age. So that's this option here. But these two, I like to keep off. So it says, suggest your account to others. So you can make sure anything that you don't want suggested as far as your account goes is turned off. So you don't want to suggest it to your contact or Facebook friends, mine are turned off. But these other options, mutual connections, these are things that are happening inside of TikTok. So I have these on. So you could change yours if you like to match mine. Then there's another option. It says sync contacts and Facebook friends. I turn these off too. I don't want them to contact the contacts I have on my phone here with TikTok. And I don't want my Facebook friends knowing about my TikTok account. So I have these turned off. You could do the same there. Then there's personalization and data. So use off TikTok activity for ad targeting. I have that one turned off as well. I have ad authorization, allow third party advertiser to use your video. I have that one turned off as well. And then my downloads is on. I do want to download some TikTok videos. Then you have comments. Under the comment tab, basically, you could make sure that you decide who could comment on your video. So if you just want friends or no one to comment on it, set that here. And then you could go ahead and filter comments and add comment filters as well. Now there is an option. It says who can see your following list. You could actually turn that off to just only me to keep your account private or everybody could see who you're following. This is very critical here if you want to make that private. And then I left everything else to everyone, but liked videos, I definitely want this to be set to only me. I don't want everybody to see the videos I like on TikTok. That I think should be just private and just associated to me. So these are all the different privacy settings that I think you should change on TikTok to make your account more private and secure. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.